All right, so back to this. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have anything to say. Uh, I guess, yeah, and I'm curious to see how this walk is going to end up, right? We're presumably going to – we know what happened the last two times we had interactions with Monica, right? We got interrupted, right? However, this time we're presumably going into the mountains, like, fucking isolated, right? So – Unless somehow Sayori or let's say Nansky just pops up out of nowhere. I'm curious to see where this is going to go, right? There's no way they're actually going to do it in this mod. Like, because again, right, I I'm still think it's hilarious that we played the three sex mods back to back. Like, I actually think it's hilarious. Again, we played, what was it? It was exit music first, exit music first, salvation second, right? And then we played the Fallen Angel demo third, which again, it wasn't in that at the time, but then playing through the final thing, it was, and it was funny because that was the one that actually showed the graphics that I needed to censor, right? Fucking, um, it was only Salvation and Exit Music. They had just mentions to it. And apparently both are banned now. I keep, well, I mean, I've known, we've known Exit Music's been banned for a while, right? But Salvation, fucking, um, yeah, that's like, I, I didn't learn of that. So, or I just heard that, so. I don't know if that's actually a case though. We'll need to see. We'll need to see, right? I'm I'm not even gonna bother checking. I guess hold on. Let me let me I can just check now, right? Salvation mod. Okay, the official website, but to no avail, right? Okay, hold on. Let me just see, right? Is it actually okay? No, it's not. It's it's on the it's on the list. So I guess, I don't know, for whatever reason, I thought it was banned, but that's besides, it was summertime, that was banned, that's kind of besides the point, but right again, this time we're going to an area, presumably, like, we're going to the fucking mountains, right, just, presumably just completely fucking isolated from everyone else, so it's like, who knows, I don't think they're gonna do it, they're not gonna do it, if anything, Sayori and Noski is just gonna pop up out of nowhere from, like, the fucking bushes, right, I don't think they're gonna fucking do it, right, yeah, I don't, I don't think they're gonna do it, so it's like, yeah, I mean, in terms of that, right, I, I just, yeah, I don't think they're going to do it. So, yeah, that's something to where it's like, I'm not exactly super fucking concerned, right? I just, yeah, I just don't think they're going to do it. So, but besides that, right, I don't really think I have anything else. Um, Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think we can just get into it. I guess, again, the big thing being, yeah, and I mentioned this in the last part, which is why I want to say um, that basically, again, it's looking like it's going to wrap itself up pretty quickly quicker more quickly than we anticipated right and i can also mention this because again we went siori's route and then we clicked yuri to spend time with for the festival so we saw that interaction now we're on monica's route so we clicked no to uh what's it called we clicked no siori but then we clicked natsuki here so even though we technically start on natsuki's route we're not really involved with it we're more so monica's round we're just seeing natsuki kind of similar to siori or yuri but it is interesting that because now, because we technically start on Noski's round, since the Sayori is still the MC childhood friend, they're more involved. Uh, it's more so like split between the three of them as opposed to Sayori's route, which is very Sayori centric. Again, there was very little from Yuri. It was just that one instance. And then again, Monica obviously kind of scheming the whole time, but at least in person, right? Nothing really there. So it'll be interesting. So we'll go through this, right? Which is just Monica's route with us. Uh, or Monka's route having started on Natsuki's, right? To see the differences, right? Then we'll just go Yuri's organic route and Natsuki's organic route. And then again, those will go up until pretty much this point, right? We just need to get their names here and then see this, right? We don't need to go through any more interactions here. And then what I'm thinking is maybe at the end, we start off on Sayori's route and then go like start off on Yuri's route, click Yuri, and then go Monica's route from there on, right? I'm curious to see if there's any different from if we go Monica's route, starting from Sayori's route. So, because again, right, obviously with Yuri's and Nazi's route, you need to start on their route, right? And then same thing with Sayori's route. But Monica's route, again, you just click here. So I'm curious to see if, again, it'd be any different starting off on Sayori's route and having spent the festival with Yuri going Monica's route. So I'll probably do that at the very end, though. But for now, again, we just need to get through it, right? So, yeah, but there's that. Let's get into it. So let's see, as we turn the corner, we stared for, down a, at a long winding path, long filled with trees and bushes, counting against each other on the walls. Where are we? 
I look up at the street sign and see the alleyway. It's very conveniently been named Garden Alley. I don't see that. I turn to Monica. She gleams with excitement. Wow, we've really made good time so far. I fucking oh, I I talked about the ten mile walk in the previous part. If if you're watching this and you want fucking fitness advice, don't do one 10 mile walk a week. That's how you, you're probably going to injure yourself, like blow out your fucking like joints and tendons, right? Trying to walk 10 miles. Like you'll blow out your shoes, right? It's like, don't do that. Split it up into like two or three, one to two mile walks or even like two to three, right? Like do that. Don't do one 10 mile walk. We're not that much further from where you're going, actually. 10 miles is a fuck ton. That's literally like two and a half to three hours of walking. I already went over this. It's good to know I even slows you down. Like, imagine taking a two to three hour. Like, it's 4.54 p.m. right now. If I started my 10-mile walk now, I'd be done at what? 7.54? <laughs> Probably. Don't, don't do that. Like, and I know I'm not the most fit guy in school. The, bitch, it's walking. No, you've actually kept up with me pretty well. See, though there is one part of this walk that would be hard to do. Why? Where are we going? What is it? Let's just say there's going to be a lot of steps. Bitch, we fucking walking up? Is there an elevator? I'm not entirely sure what she means by that, but I'll go along with it. Come on. I've walked this far away. If there a few more steps, a few little steps won't slow me down. Dude, don't say that. Like, like just don't say that. If, if you know you're not a fit, like, this is the warm up, man. Don't don't say that if she's warning you heat her advice right don't be like oh it's nothing right i'm the strongest guy in the world well i hope you still have that determination when you see them <laughs> they're like vertical steps it's a wall i'm sure i will we keep walking through a winding path occasionally monica would stop us smell whatever flowers weren't swarmed by insects where are we where actually are we i noticed in particular monica is a fondness of smelling nearly every single camellia that was along the route wow i'm sure this won't play a fucking part later we have a very specific fucking flower name right figuring that was her favorite flower i managed to discreetly pluck one when she wasn't looking it's like wow maybe i could give this to her when i get up there bitch she'll she'll be fucking like oh i totally didn't see this coming look over to monica who's gently sniffing some tubes he's like damn looks like i was wrong I never knew monica was so into nature and her energy and enthusiasm are so different from how she usually is in school. Well, bitch, because it's outside of school, right? I, I talked about this, right? And I went on a whole tangent. I'm pretty. It was during one of the plus recordings about how, like, it, school isn't everything, right? Like, I know for me, right? Again, outside of school, like mandatory academics, I did athletics, so very much my activities outside of school were still tied to school, or like academics itself right so my extracurricular did i say academics outside my extracurriculars outside of school weren't outside of academics itself were still somewhat tied to the school but obviously in situations like just being completely away and free and outside of that right it's like again right you people act differently outside of school than they do in school it's like the whole fucking class clown meme where they're like fucking depressed outside of school right it's kind of like sayori take a look at sayori right she acts very differently in school and she does outside so no more finds these, wow, what a coincidence, convenience. Long has been nothing but enjoyable to me to, to be with since this walk began. Maybe she's trying to help me relax over everything. What is he really, what does he need to relax over? Well, I guess it's working. I walk over to Monica, still sniffing the tulips. I didn't know you're so into this place. Have you been here before? A couple of times, actually. Okay. Well, I mean, she, they're, they're, okay, that's a stupid question because how she took you here, she brought you here. How would she know? If she hasn't already been here, I don't know. Like, I wanted to walk through her one last time before winter came. That's smart, though. This is the last time. Things will be blooming here for a while. Oh, I guess that's true. Look up at the sky. See a sun sign set. Well, if we're going to get to your spot for sun, then we should probably hurt. Monica gets her last whip of the two before jumping up and looking at the sky. Oh, wow. I guess time really flew by, didn't it? Damn, spent too much time smelling the fucking flowers. Guess we did take our time through here. Because some somberly looks off. Sorry. I didn't mean to slow us down here so much. Monica, it's fine, really. Monica looks back at me. I mean, this was your idea. You're allowed to have fun with it. Besides, I think a little break here and there does us good. He, We know he needs, and I admit, see you enjoy yourself like this, kind of cute. Wow, you're fucking okay. You're already starting it off, but it's something where it's like, like, it's you're, just enjoy yourself. It's not that serious. <laughs> like, you know, Michael blushes brightly. What was it too for there? He's like, mm, you really can't tell this. It, it just reminds me, this reminds me exactly of that fucking sketch casually explain it's like how to tell someone to you and it's literally like they're about to like fucking bone you and it's like you know you really can't tell at this point you, you know you might as well play it safe my uncle is back at me with the beast mom i've ever 
bitch, why the fuck did the music stop? And I return with Smod on my own. The, the Smod always does this. This is another pet peeve. And I've only ever noticed it with this Smod. They stop the music. Rather than just transition the music, they stop it for like one or two uh, dialogues. And then they uh, start a new one, right? Like, I think every single mod I've played before would always transition. But this one always fucking stops, which I don't know why. Either that or I'm hallucinating. The world around me seems to phase. I continue to gaze at the going from me. Bitch, you're not going to fucking make it before sundown. You're. This feels perfect. Bitch, fucking Rukra. She's perfect. Her smile, her laugh, her personality. She's everything I've ever wanted. Bitch, okay, you're in the middle of a fucking public pathway, my guy. Everything points to her liking me back. He's like, you know, just to be safe, though, you can't really tell. How the hell did this happen? Luck? <laughs> like, literally just, you can thank me for that. Monk and I shuffle a little closer to each other. Do you really mean that? The fuck did he say? Oh, oh, she's talking about this. But honestly, she's probably talking about this. But obviously, the MC doesn't know that uh, she can read his mind. But he's probably thinking about the last thing he said there. So let's see. Why would I ever lie to you? Of course I mean it. What do you say? Long skill sends a shock through my heart as it starts speeding at a million miles a second. Bitch, that's a heart attack. Face turns flush to struggle to keep myself from green like a tall lunatic in front of her. Mike takes an hour step close to me. I just wanted to make sure. Monica, I'd be the worst person on earth to lie to you. And one who does is an idiot. But let's not argue, though. See what I tell you. You haven't failed to put a smile on my face this entire walk. It's nice to know for once there's someone who truly appreciates me. He just doesn't want me for one thing. You're sure there's a lot of thirst. Th is need to bring out the fucking drinks because it's so thirsty. But... Is this again? This also goes. I'm, I'm going to keep bringing up longer roads because, like, it was a and even in fucking earlier in the mod. What was it? It was uh Yuri who said that people, or well, it was also Monica who brought it up too. Like in terms of like people really only that was it even this mod or was it plus? I don't exactly recall, but in one of them because in this one I remember Yuri bringing up uh people want her for like ulterior motives, right? But for Monica, it's like I I remember. It was either in plus or this one. And I think even in longer roads, like, well, I know, especially in longer roads. She mentioned like, again, people either viewers out of their league, right? So she's just like fucking way above them. Or it's like, they want her for fucking like stats and influence, right? It's not like an actual fucking healthy, uh, like organic natural relationship. Heck, I'm even guilty of it. But it looks like all along, no guy's ever tried to actually get to know her. But she's had to have genuine guy friends before, even before she met me. He's going to say, right. And then anytime you know someone says, right, it's wrong. She's had to have found love once before. I decided to break the ice. What do you mean by that? Something happened. Anka stoically nods. If I may ask, what happened? I thought that you were dating that one tramp. Bitch, who the hell is that one tramp? Bitch, is it Keith? But well, when you brought up last week that you don't have a boyfriend, I assume you guys must have ended it over the summer. But even then, I heard rumors you were seeing all sorts of guys. Bitch, those, who, who do they come from? The guys themselves? You need to ask that question. Not I ever believe most of them. Well, the thing is, we had one, despite the rumors. That relationship was a sham for him to try to get close to me. It was a sham. Bitch, the trans, was it Keith? Excuse me, boost his stats around school. That better, that, that better have been fucking Keith. So like my man, Keith. But that's, again, it's literally this point, right? And that was the only thing he wanted from me. He's always pushing me to take our relationship to the next level. He's like, all right, marriage. He's like fucking engagement. It took it longer, longer than he liked for what? It took longer than he liked for me to see him more for what he was. But thankfully, I come off before he got too far. So that was good on him. Kind of like with Natsuki and her fucking friends in Plus, right? That was something that was interestingly brought up. And again, was never mentioned in the base game. But again, it's good that we got to see that, right? That was all last year. You deal with unlaw of unflattering rumors. So the duration of that semester, but thankfully, well, I mean, if she's the one in the position of power of status, right? Who has the status and influence, then like, it doesn't really matter. The worry is more so he will, well, I mean, at, given he was trying to, again, like kind of take advantage of her, right? Like he, it, it would just be karma at that point, but like, that'd be more so if you didn't have influence and status to where you would need to worry about the rumors going around with you, right? But if you have that status and influence, right, you can just shut it down at any point, right? She just needs to, like, start spraying her own, right? And then soon, you know, it, it makes its rounds, right? Whispers, like, it makes its way around the school, like, through whispers, right? And then all of a sudden, right, the dude is isolated, right? That's something to where it's like, uh, yeah, but obviously, again, the fact that such a thing happened, right? The worry is her bringing her status and influence level down as a result, right? Of bringing his up. I like to think that I became a strong person as a result of all this, but it still hurts. That's why I'm always skeptical. And any guy just comes up and tries to say these nice things to me. 
I want a repeat of what happened last year. Wouldn't just hurt me this time. I know you're well enough to know you aren't like that. He, she, he's like, the plan's working perfectly. Rose and shot his Monica tells him all this. Never even knew about half the things she just said. Monica, I'm, he's like, oh, 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 I'm really sorry that happened to you. I feel a deep sense of guilt for once. I mean, knowing that may have occasionally tagged down the gossip and fine over Monica. Bitch, he, he was like with his fucking, uh, which, with who? He has no friends. What, like, who, who would this be with, Sayori? I mean, like, who is he, like, taught, like, he wasn't in the anime club. I feel even more guilty for I've been distant from not, okay? Ah, don't be. There's no use in being, why, and again, the music fucking stopped. Also, why are we thinking about Natsuki? We're not even on her route at this point. We never fucking were. Because at the very least, with Sayori, right, we accepted her confession, and we were officially in a relationship with her, right? So that makes sense in that situation, right? But we, it was never that case with Natsuki. It was just the prep and then the festival we spent with her. There was, we're not in a relationship. There's no confession, right? Well, I guess now he got the pink slip, but that's not something that should be impacting this. Everything's fine now. If anyone ever spreads your memory about you, I'm happy to talk to, bitch, he's going to like talk to the whole school. Okay. Jokingly show off my fist. I'll keep that in mind. Anyways, let's keep going. Our eyes are not going to reach the spot till tomorrow. Look at my watch. 6.45. Oh, wow. I've been at the spot for a while now. When sundown? Didn't even realize. Time really flies when you're with someone. Bitch, if they're only fucking 10 miles away, damn, they're going to get back at like 10 p.m.? Yes, that's the case. Stand silence and our breeze gently blows over us. Well, I'll follow your lead, Madam President. Why the fuck would you even say that? Madame. Damn, do people actually, because it's like ma'am. Ma'am comes from madame, right? But I don't know where that comes from. Jokingly salute Monica, causing her loud hearty laugh. Bitch, he's like, this side, that's so something Sierra would say. Bitch, you did it with the left hand. Guess I picked up on her more than I realized. Anyway, let's go. Monica and I are going to walk through the path. So you start walking in, hear whisper something under her breath. Soon. Soon what, bitch? We near top? Oh my God. We got the fucking steps now. This is not long after he's going to walk. We reach the end of the path. Face a tiring row of stairs leading up to the mountain. I guess these are the stairs you warned me about. Don't say. What the fuck am I looking at? Look at this fucking sprite. Look at this character sprite. It, it's literally like fucking um, not my problem. <laughs> it's like, you know, didn't don't say I didn't told you so. That's actually kind of hilarious though. But again, besides that, right? Again, the thing, what was shoot? What was I even gonna say? I don't know. Why did we? I was I was literally about to say fucking, oh, it's been a while since we have glitch text, right? You know, it seems like the more time we spend, the less she does that. And then we've just fucking got something. Can't have a normal route, can't have a normal route. Well, I mean you did. I just didn't think it'd be that many stairs. Fucking dumbass. Taking another look at seemingly infinite row of steps, seem to ascend to heaven's bitch this Mario 64. Lump forms in my throat. So I just continue to eyeball how many steps there are. Just do every other one. I nervously swallow. You're not chickening out on me now, are you? What? I can never do that to you. This will be a piece of cake. Is that so? Well, my best record on walking up these steps is 20 minutes. <laughs> Why the fuck you, have you timed that? But I'm afraid the sun's going to set before that. She's not seriously thinking about racing me. And, Bitch, it's not going to work. The MC's going <sighs> to race to the top. The MC's about to fucking die. He's going to have like a heart attack. Damn it. Look up the sky. See the sun's beginning to descend the horizon. The sky's now pure orange. It seems to be getting darker by the second. If I'm going to do something, I'll probably end up embarrassing myself in front of Monica. I can't ask for some, I can't not ask for some sort of stakes. What do I win if I beat you? I respect a nice view. Your respect, huh? Sounds good enough to me. He's like, uh, sure, I'll take it. You're on. Suddenly, Monica takes a step back in pure shock. What? Think there's, bitch, where the fuck, are, what do you mean you think there's, there's, please don't tell me some dumb shit's about to happen. The fuck you mean? Oh, this, okay, never mind. She's tricking us. She's tricking us. This has got to be a trick. I'm like, there's no way there's anything behind us. What? I just look over my shoulder. My thankful surprise, there's nothing there. Turn back around to Monica. Look around, see Monica's all her staying in front of me. Instead, she's already running up the steps. Why are we, I call it to her. Made you look, bitch, you better fucking sprint. Looks like she's been spending time around Sayori lately. Sprint says, start running up steps, try catch. No way am I going to let her beat me. Bitch, he's, he's like, he's going to be done so like a quarter of the way up. Just accept the L, man. This, like, there are certain situations to where you can take the L's, right? Like, this is one. There's literally, like, no stakes on the line, right? If anything, you just bond more and get closer because of this. You don't need to fucking win everything. Why is it kind of black? We end up having to take a break about midway. Damn, what a surprise. But for all intents and purposes, we agreed that Monica beat me. Thankfully, there is a rest stop along the path, which allows us to catch our breath and get some, bitch, some water. Where the fuck? 
After what felt like an hour of walking upstairs, we finally reached our destination. Bitch, show me the CG. Hold on. We got custom fucking OST. Also, can, can we get Maka off the screen? <laughs> like, I, I, I hate to say that. Can we get her off screen so we can take a picture of this? Because, bitch, where are we? Where is this? Like, in any way, but besides that, right? Because I there is a picture of Monica, right? Well, I may have it on this laptop where it's like her in front of a fucking city, <laughs> right? Because I remember seeing her, I'm like, damn, that's a pretty fucking nice city. But it just had Monica in front of it. So, yeah, it was because, I, shoot, I don't even remember where I, I don't think I have it on my phone. I think it's on my laptop. I'm checking my phone right now, right? No, I don't have it. I have the one of the beach on my phone, but not the city. I think the city one I have here. So hold on. Let me actually, I may be able to hold on. Let's see pictures. Uh, or I have pictures of D. Oh, found it. Found it. Hold on. Let me. Uh, so like you, you're looking at this now, right? Let me change the screen. So new share this one, right? Also just saying, <laughs> didn't make this photo. So this is the one I was referring to because I saw the fucking city and I'm like, because I, I didn't even shoot because obviously it was DDLC related, but it, I was like, I saw a city and I'm like, damn, that's a pretty fucking nice photo. But anyway, so let's share back to an encore, right? But yeah, this, that's the, this is the, that was the one I was talking about for whatever reason that just reminded me of that. So yeah, but there's that, right? So it's just, and I believe I had that as my background for a while too. So that's, that's why I remember it specifically. Cause this one just, again, just the safe skate, but this one's like much further out. So it's like, where the actual fuck are we? <laughs> right. It's like, where's our neighborhood in this, you know, how fucking far are we out? We're not going to make it back <laughs> in time. Right. Like we literally didn't like, imagine this was an actual Wednesday. Like you have like actual school work to do, but instead you spend the whole time just fucking walking. And then you're just like, again, walking back. So let's see. Your view is still nice. Whoa. Run up behind a bench. There, taking my surroundings. There we go. Hold on. Let me fucking uh, control. Uh, where's print screen? Or it's just print screen, right? Let me just double check. So, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Hold on. I need to fucking full screen this right well shoot i can't even because the fucking zoom bar is in the way right hold on i can do this here right or actually hold on uh or is it control print screen i think it's just print screen right so let me fucking pull up 3d right paint 3d fuck off paint 3d new and then control paste again let's crop there we go uh donezo And then again, we can save. So save, where's menu? Uh, save as image. And then, so why I'm in, so let's just go Mac pictures. And then I'll say uh, city background. Cause none of the other uh, backgrounds were worth saving, but this one's pretty fucking good. I'm not even getting it with Monica, and right? Again, get the fuck out of here. Get out of paint so I can actually resume this. And again, still screen sharing. So thanks to good visibility, we're clearly able to make out downtown as well as surrounding neighborhoods on the south and east side of towns. But what about the north side? Don't fucking want to go there, right? And that's also interesting to see. Yeah, it's like fucking. Also, again, like imagine for a fucking cloudy day, right? Also, it's cool to actually see the lights. Like, LED, are they LEDs? You have a single view. It's beautifully lit up and all kinds of colors shine brightly for miles on it. Look up the sky, see a star is twinkling brightly above us in the rest of the city. Monica, this is beautiful. I end up having to take seats. I'm overwhelmed from physical exhaustion. He's like, does physical fucking damage, right? Let's see. I thought you'd like it. 
Whenever I feel overwhelmed, stress out. I usually go here around sundown. Mitch, how much fucking time do you have on your hands? Seeing the city lit up on their stars really melts away all my troubles and words. I wanted to head over here on waste tonight, but I thought you could just use it. Use it just as much as I could. And honestly, though, I feel somewhat similar in terms of um, not necessarily that I have like a location or like just a certain environment, right? That's like this, so like a fucking landscape view, like for sunset, right? But whenever I like take a bus, this is going to be oddly specific, but whenever I take a bus ride, like transit bus to somewhere off campus, right? Like I feel a similar way because usually that blocks off around that's about usually like a two, three, maybe even four hour chunk of my time that I'm blocking off to do something, right? It's usually in terms of like doing something, right? But that's something where like when I'm physically away from, it's weird when I'm physically away from the campus, right? That's something where I have a similar, it feels similar here. So like I have a very similar feel to that. So it feels very similar to this where like all my problems just kind of go away, right? Up until I return, but I, I can't say that's kind of for this, right? And obviously, it's again, it's more so just proximity. Mike takes C on the bench next to me. Take it that surprise has been on your mind. Well, it's just not that, it's other things. It's been a pretty hectic week for me with the festival prep, the actual festival, my surprise. And Monica cuts herself off. It's fine if you don't want to tell me. And it's not like I can really share with you my thought process right now, anyways. I don't even know what I want. Did my questions help? I mean, they have. And again, this is regarding just his current situation, right? With like Nazi C or in Monica. Just not sure what I want. I don't know who I'd be better off with. I mean, I see potential with me and Natsuki, but my feelings are just all over the place. Kind of nervously looks off to the side. Sorry if I helped cause that. I didn't mean to act like a dare if I knew it was, was going to make you uncomfortable. I would have done it yesterday either. It wasn't uncomfortable, though. That's the thing. You with you earlier today, yesterday felt right. I don't know. Part of me still has feelings for Natsuki. Man, man, shut the fuck up. I will give her a chance. Even if we haven't spent as much time together lately. Bitch, I'm not giving you that chance. Part of me still feels bad about how I've treated Siori lately. I haven't spent that much time around her since all started. Even though I told her I want to spend more time with her. But Monica, to be truthful, I have a lot of fun since we started talking. I want more, but I don't know if I should. I might have just confessed to her. He's like, damn, fucking he. But that's good. That's like a heart to heart, right? It's not some like bullshit on a piece of paper, like for lack of better term. <coughs> for lack of a better word, right? It's not some fucking bullshit on a piece of paper. It's like him saying that. I just feel so divided. I feel like I'm being pulled everywhere at once. Well, nobody's forcing you to make a decision here and now. You still have time. I have to say something to Natsuki. I just don't even know if I have the same, share the same feelings for her, right? Again, because he he are, he actually told Monica about the pink slip. Just so much has changed over the last week. It feels like I'm in such a selfish spot right now. I wouldn't end up breaking at least one person, and probably two, Hard by the time this all said and done. Someone's going to be happy. I know I should be happy with whoever I decide, but I don't know if I can live with myself, knowing that I hurt someone again. First, Sayori, and it might not just be Natsuki I'm hurting this time. See, you're not selfish. If you were a chance are, you would have decided already. It's clear you're putting a lot of thought into this, but you did put yourself in the situation. I mean, being around ours a little too much with nobody in particular in mind. She's like, but this is kind of on you, though. I know. Monica stares off into the illuminate horizon. You know, it's crazy how high up we are. Everything looks so small from up here. Yeah, it kind of does. Just Monica gazing. I join Monica and gazing at the cityscape. Living in this area my whole life, but I don't think I've ever really had an appreciation for her until now. I mean, you kind of see the bigger thing, right? The bigger picture. And it's honestly funny kind of seeing like, I wouldn't say in my home residence, it's something similar to this, right? That even on campus, I used to live in a, a college. I used to live with, uh, in a fucking like tall building, pretty tall building. And it would all, it was also closing in on like, it was on borderline off campus. So like, I got a good view of like the campus, right? From a tall building, I could kind of like see that, that was kind of, it was kind of similar to this, right? But it, it's also something to where it's like fucking, uh, yeah, again, in terms of that, right? Obviously it's not the same, but cause I don't really have something like this, my home residence, but being up here, look down at everything, it really helps calm my nerves. Everything's just so peaceful. Oh, we get our fucking uh, custom CG. But, damn, look at the fucking background just devolved. But yeah, that's actually kind of funny though. We get the CG. So at least they fucking, what's it called? It's not like the motherfucker in anime where they just put the lips on like the side of the, the side that you're fucking looking at. And then it's like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. But yeah, turn to my right. See Monica elegantly looking out at the horizon. Even when she's spaced out, she manages to look her best. Where am I? It's glistening in the moonlight. Her, her hair flows in the wind every time. Bitch, how many fucking breezes are there? Her flaws, bitch, flaws. She's like, I use fucking uh, conditioner. See, I'll say it. 
She's definitely perfect. Mitch Rukra, but can I be with her? Juve, I swear, the MC, he needs to make up his damn mind. <laughs> like, we, like, Monica has a point there. He just needs to make up his damn mind, right? Like, it's like, at least in this moment. Monica then turns to me, noticing my stare. She immediately busts. She looks back out in this. I just noticed that. I fucking clicked past that, though, that she actually changed up. Uh, you know, see everything so small. It just reminds me, in retrospect, how insignificant all our problems are. How so? I mean, look at it. Everyone we know is down there is living out their lives, being happy, being sad, thinking about how tomorrow is going to play out for them, thinking that they're in 100% control of their destiny. And they just go on and do it. Not really questioning if they manually made that choice or if a higher power already predetermined it for them. Now we're getting into the fucking good stuff, right? Because they're all so small. They can be controlled. And they would never think to ask themselves about it because they can't just can't see the bigger picture. Most people don't realize just how small they are in retrospect to the universe. I don't think in question what is really determining their lives. The MC is like, damn, that's crazy. He's they'll never know what's really out there. Well, what do you think is really out there? The truth. The truth that there's more life than what most people see it as. They're short sighted because they can't see past their own little realities. Because there is an interesting theory, right? Or it's more so like not a theory, but like a phenomenon to where like you have a moment. Like, it's like, I don't know what specifically called, but it's like the realization that like each person has their own like unique and like individual lives just as you do, right? Because obviously like, if you're fucking listening to this now, you don't know anything about me, or at least you don't know a lot. You don't know how my life is outside of these recordings, right? Just in like, just generally the interactions you have with other people, that's all you know of them. But again, they have their own entire like individual lives right unique and individual lives and then even just that's people you know but just seeing strangers right they each all have their own unique and individual lives as well right so that's something to where like again right you know that's why it's a you you realize like if you're walking down a city square right each person you know like out of the numerous like hundreds if not thousands of people you're seeing just just within your fucking viewpoint right they all have their own unique and individual lives, right? Just like you. Reality can be a multi-layer dimension for all we know. Bitch, it's four, right? We know we know the amount. Even now, seeing here above everything you come to know. Who say that there is something looking down on us? The ability to control. We say what we do, how we act, everything. So some, what they're doing to the others, someone could be doing to them, is what she's saying. It's natural for the big to control the small, right? I guess he's like, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what the fuck you just said. He's like, damn, that's crazy. It's usually in human nature, except control from a higher power. If you're the one admit to it, realize it. Again, it's it's comfort, right? Control is comfort. That's ultimately what it boils down to, right? If you can accept, because I think, what was it? One of, I think there was a movie based around this premise, right? Or was it a movie? It may have been a TV series that basically, ultimately, they found proof of like an afterlife, Right. And then, well, besides people just starting to fucking like off themselves, right? Because it's like, just go to the next plane. It's also something to where I think the twist or like the, at the end was that they realized that ultimately the afterlife, like it's not like necessarily physical. The afterlife is what you make of it. So when they learn that, when you learn that the afterlife is literally just what you think it is, then ultimately the end state of that is you thinking that it doesn't actually exist because it's not permanent. It's just what you think of it. So ultimately that leads to there being no afterlife. And then like, you got to undo that. I don't know. I may be hallucinating. I may, may be making this up. I remember they're like vaguely have a vague memory of like such a series or something because they're so small. They'll never truly know for certain. And again, like control, like, cause here's the thing. That's the thing with like a lot of like the whole, like, again, sort of the uh, appeal of the victim mentality, right? If you take control away yourself, away from yourself, right? You know, you have less responsibility and less again, they're like it can, it's less of your fault, right? And then this is just, it's the same principle here in terms of if you take control away from yourself. And this isn't even necessarily like religion or stuff like that. Cause I obviously, you don't, we don't fucking know, right? Like, I wouldn't say I'm religious, but there could be like, I don't fucking know. Like, I'm just a human, right? But like, again, like the people, like people are willing to give up control, right? They're willing to keep control away from them, right? More so besides lack of willingness to take control of their life, they're willing to, they're willing to, what's it called? Secede that or like, what would you call it? Concede that up, right? They're willing to concede that again. And that's why, you know, because besides, again, just like they're talking about nature of reality, but this is what comes, like, it comes down to like fucking like more so like this also is more practical in terms of like governments right like you think like dictatorships don't just happen for a reason right you know 
like are just like more authoritarian governments right like other forms of government besides democracy right it, uh, it's not like democracy good everything else bad like it have it's all for a reason right it's not it's not that simple and that's part of it right but i'm, I'm kind of getting off topic so you know it's like few learn how to see above everything could come to realize this truth and again well we know it's just tied to specifically to the president right monica got it from the previous person who told her not to reset everything and then she did and most people can't handle because it, it goes against everything they've ever come to accept it's tragic and that's why i say our problems are so insignificant because it's so superficial wow that's he's like i have no idea what you just said he's like but damn that's crazy though do i have a crush on a conspiracy theorist the conspiracy theorist like it's a term used to devalue and demean right <laughs> like if you use the it carries a negative connotation so rather than actually try to debunk any theories it, it's like you just use that term right to demean and like basically again like because it has a negative connotation use it to just demean and then devalue like basically just as like a blanket sort of response right rather than actually use as like a blanket statement rather than like an actual response so it's basically like a coping defense mechanism for the non-conspiracy theorist in order to try and sort of what would you call it like prove their in sort of the try and defend their own worldview right the worldview that the conspiracy theorist is questioning so well, again that'd be more like nazi saying right because again right I, I would say like grand there are some like retarded theories right like let's say some shit like oh like i don't know fucking like someone could say something completely stupid like like I don't know, right? Like, 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 I'm not even thinking of common ones, right? I'm just thinking of the stupidest ones I've heard. So, like, I guess what would be a pretty stupid one? I don't even necessarily want to say flat Earth because they actually have like all there's a whole science revolving around how things would exist if like the Earth were flat and like how the sun and moon and shit like that would work. I don't even want to say JFK like assassination as well, because that's another big one. But that's like, there's also some like, most people question it, right? At the very least, I do. But that's something where it's like, again, right? They're still, they, they never release the details on it. So, and uh, like, okay, let's say shit like Nazis made it to the moon. Like, that's, that's, or like Antarctic or wherever, right? Okay, Argentina, different story, because some people did. But let's say moon or antarctica or what like that's a very stupid one with like real no verifiable evidence right it's just basically whims so that's something to where it's like that'd be something stupid but again like jfk and even flat earth so long as they know the science behind how a flat earth would actually work again with like how that changes sun and moon and gravity like so long as they know that then it's like like okay they've got something right but i think another like more so theories like again right like let's say damn should I like for who was his face? Was it, it was Charles Manson, right? Again, he was the cult leader, right? Yeah, it was Charles Manson. Yeah, so he was the one again who had his fucking um again his cult, right? Basically, they believed obviously there would be a race war, minorities would run, more specifically blacks, and then again, but he and his group were gonna not only start right, like make create the spark to. Uh, what's it called start or ignite that um said race war, right but also their group would go into hind and they would come out and then be the rulers of whoever remained right that's like delusional right i mean like but they they did have like actually like legit uh there was more so delusional in the fact that they thought their group could come back out and then rule what remained right as opposed to the fact that there could potentially be a race war in the future, right? Because who fucking knows, right? That's the future, right? A hundred years from now, can you say that there would or wouldn't be, right? Who knows, right? I'll be dead by then. But again, that's something where like, it was more so delusional and like the outcome. Like a lot of people have like these, like this isn't even necessarily a conspiracy theory, but it's more so like beliefs, like, like I know, again, it's like the same thing. Like let's, let's, let's turn the table, right? Let's go to economics, right? Again, like the whole like worker revolution thing of communism, right? Like or Marxism, right? That more so traditional, right? That's something where it's like you wouldn't call that fucking conspiracy, right? Their view that where it's like, oh, obviously you start out with capitalism to create the money, right? To create wealth, right? Ultimately, uh, to generate wealth, right? And then uh, production, right? Then you again, it's more so the transition to socialism, right? Which focuses on distribution, and then ultimately communism, right? Sort of maintain that, and then the complete dissolve of the state into like an ideal society right like it, it's kind of like 
like, and then obviously you just have, again, well, man, you have the race fourth year. And then again, whoever ends up on top. Right. And then like, that's who, like, I guess there's rulers of or ruling the, you know, new United, like ethno states of America, whatever. Right. Whether it be blacks or whites. Man's, and again, that was more delusional in terms of he thought his group would be able to come out and then rule whoever remained. That's, that's the delusional part. But again, who knows? Right. I mean, so far the whole communist thing fails, but who knows, right? We're entering a new age. Same thing with race, right? Who fucking knows, right? You know, a hundred, you can't predict a hundred years from now. Only time will tell. But anyway, this is getting off topic, right? The whole point being like conspiracy theory again, that's basically used just to demean and devalue, right? It's basically just a blanket term. It's like a coping defense mechanism for non Dear. So again, since it carries negative connotation, right? Like if you're actually in a legit debate and they know their shit, don't just be like, oh, you're just a conspiracy theorist. Because that's just ad hominem crap, right? And again, it's usually about stuff that isn't serious anyway. So no she's a demon thinker, but this is something else. So she's going to put a lot of time thought into this and she's not ranting about it, like a complete lunatic. Bitch, I'd fucking join her fucking cult just because something small. This means it's not real, is it? Um, insignificantly small would mean it's practically not real. But what is real? How do we know we aren't being controlled to believe that this is just life as we know? She knows, but obviously the MC doesn't. That's like the whole people fucking simulation thing. Like, here's the thing. And this is like, again, because now it just seems to be a big idea because fucking a uh, quirky billionaire Elon Musk is uh, talking about it, right? The whole simulation thing, right? But obviously people believe we've been in simulation. And that would be a good example for conspiracy theorists too, right? If they had, like, there's actual evidence to believe, to, I think, what was it? Like, 99.84% chance that reality is real. So it's like a one in 200% chance that we're in simulation. People have run fucking, um, again, like there's actual evidence that kind of points to that. People have figured out how much energy would need to be. And that's where the whole like Dyson sphere thing came from, like power, the power of a star. And then like other stuff, which would again, like, like quantum physics, right? Stuff like that, you know, parallel worlds, realities, right? Like, again, like stuff that goes towards that, right? Is evidence, right? That you can like, you support that and if you're really into it then you would know for me it's up the door like it doesn't really fucking matter like i'm kind of of that like it uh, doesn't really fucking matter if we live in a simulation not really like obviously if i knew it then it's like okay damn kind of devalues my own life especially if i can just change shit granted i'd still change it though but it's something where it's like at least in now like i don't think it really fucking matters right i mean you know, because if we do, then it's like, okay, yeah, that's, and we figure out how to like change shit. Okay, that's nice. That's good. That's good. Round of applause. Uh, let's start working on it. But if we don't, it's like, okay, then we put all this time and effort, and like, you know, fucking, then we focus too much on that rather than actual fucking problems. Like, you know, like I said, I mentioned my little nightmares video, right? Like, again, yeah, like the little nightmares world is a place where no one's happy. Our world's a place where few people are happy, right? There's a lot we can do to improve our world and current state, like, sort of. So like focus on that rather than, okay, are we in a fucking simulation? It doesn't fucking matter. Who cares? Right. But again, this, this kind of going off of that. I don't know. I was kind of reminds me of the book I mentioned earlier today. I don't recall. Mug turns face me fully. Bitch, I don't see it. Okay. We're here. And our two people know the truth of their world. I struggle to accept it. It does sound like pretty great read. I definitely love to read with you sometimes. Sam Monk happily accepted my offer. Like I thought you would choose friends and look off to his side. Again, because we know she knows the truth, right? And she's probably at this point debating on whether to tell the MC, right? Or at the very least confess to him. Something wrong. Kind of want to ask you something. A hypothetical. Okay. And then this is what she can use to sort of, because again, we know it was the same thing in fucking uh, True Route, or not True Route. Yeah, the True Route pre to where, again, Monica, like she had this kind of thing like in act one when the mc went her out and she realized that what she was doing right like she had regrets regarding what she was doing so she kind of pulled the mc aside and then worked on that right so this is probably a hypothetical similar in terms of that to where okay like if the mc were in monica's position would he do what she did right or maybe again it's just her talking to like again trying to like thinking of like again she's probably debating whether to tell him or also like confess to him right and or well this could go one of two ways I'm mentally embarrassed for what she's about to ask me. It's probably going to be some retarded shit. Let's see what this is going to be. I know this is going to sound a little strange, but ah, don't worry. So you're asking me wearing crazy questions. He, he doesn't know what he's in store for, though, right? Monica's clearly going to ask something different, right? On a different level. But I just get a Discord ping. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can handle it. I'm sure it seems to have helped Monica low. It's And then she's like, let's say, hypothetically speaking, this world isn't real. All right. 
I want, I know what I was saying earlier, it does sound a bit far-fetched at best, but let's just say if you're ever shown evidence that your life was faked, that everything you've ever known is part of some predetermined simulation, would you believe it? Well, and again, this kind of goes, because for me, it's like, I don't think it like, I don't see why everyone's creating a fuss of it. Like if we do, it's like, okay, sure. Can we change it? <laughs> and then it's like, if we don't, then you wasted all your time focusing on that rather than actual real world fucking problems. Right. And then that goes back to the whole, like, you know, race theory and then fucking like economic theory. Right. Cause obviously most like culture shit's tied around race. And then also, again, like that's also goes to theories of like a single language. Will we ever just like, basically will, humanity evolve into like a single culture and a single language which is ridiculous right like listen like that's literally like even people who tout diversity right like that's literally the opposite so but yeah besides that right i don't think anyone would really want that i mean it's good in terms of efficiency but so maybe i don't know that's besides the point right like this goes back to kind of like the whole race and fucking economic shit right yeah the whole race theories the whole economic theory right and then even that um, language theory, like fucking uh, cultural theory I talked about, right? That's more ethnicity based, right? Like the evolution to like eventually, you know, 500,000, 1,500 years from now, right? Like, will we ever evolve into just like a single ethnicity, with like a single language and a single culture, right? Who knows? Probably not. It actually won't be too bad, right? Because again, I think here's the thing though, that's just coming from me though. Because again, like even people who champion diversity, right, are probably like progressive or leftist, right? Like, like that's literally the opposite. And then obviously people who are like rightist, right? You know, like a conservative rightist, right? Or I guess like reactionary, like whatever you call it, right? Revolutionary would be the leftist term. Um, That's something to where it's like fucking, uh, they like their own fucking culture. So they don't want to give that up. But maybe, maybe that's what we need, right? Like, I don't know. That, that's just me thinking, right? I, I obviously am more conservative, more rightist, but obviously, you know, I, I give this stuff some thought. I, I don't, I'm, like, this as this video has shown, right? Yeah, imagine this gets hold of by the FBI or some shit. I don't know. Or some fucking um, organization along those lines. And that's something to where it's like, who knows, right? I'm just human, right? I'm only human. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen 100 years from now. I don't know the best fucking way i don't know i don't know the best uh i don't have you know the best solution for societal problems right it's a similar thing right who knows maybe maybe it is maybe it isn't right maybe the race thing is true maybe it's not maybe the fucking uh, economics thing's true maybe it's not we won't know the future that's the that's the you know that's what makes the future so interesting you don't know right you know the past you know the present you don't know the future I don't know if I can answer yes or no that. To me, it's a like I said, it's irrelevant. If it's good, if it is the truth, okay, can we fucking change it? And then if it's not, we waste our time thinking about that as opposed to dealing with real world problems. It's a pretty hard question for anyone to answer. Well, would you at least consider the evidence? Well, geez, why is Monica making me answer this? I mean, you would consider it, but you would just retroactively, like fucking instinctively try to block it off because it goes against your predetermined worldview, right? That's the coping defense mechanism I talked about regarding like responding to conspiracy theorists by using the term, oh, you're just a conspiracy theorist. It's Bob Quiz, see, is, see if I'm worth her time. Does she have a high for discussing philosophy and conspiracy? Bitch, just say, uh, what well, she was in the debate club. Come think of it, how to react if I was shown evidence that this isn't real. Bitch, why the, f why, we really have this option? Obviously, we're going to click. Honestly, I may end it here. This has been a pretty wild fucking episode and I've wasted a lot of time here just going on random tandems and rants, right? I'm actually going to end it here. Obviously, we're going to say consider the evidence, right? Because, I mean, here's the thing, though. Realistically, you would deny. Well, ex if it was accept or deny, right, you'd probably deny. But at the very least, you'd consider it, right? But you'd still be willing to deny, right? More willing to deny. Again, I went on a pretty big tandem. So I think I'm going to end it here, right? I was going way off in this part. But uh, no one watches this anyway, so I'm not concerned. But, yeah, I imagine, like, I don't know what I'm into. FBI fucking CIA would probably be more uh well uh, no it, it would be FBI but that's like something I don't know it doesn't fucking matter right again I'm only human I don't know what the future holds in store I don't know the solution to society's problems right it could be a fucking it could be that you know it could be it could be the culture thing the single culture thing it could be the race thing it could be the economic thing right it could be our conspiracy theories things I don't know you know I'm just human right one person Right again, the economic theory being like traditional Marxism, the race theory being just the race war theory, right? And then the cultural thing being a single fucking culture, right? Who knows? Maybe we just fucking wait. We probably just end up honestly. We probably just end up wiping ourselves out, like, and then some other. Again, 
Are all humans going to be around in a million years? Who knows? Who knows? I don't. <laughs> That's something where it's like, maybe, maybe, probably not. Who knows, right? We, we could wipe ourselves out in our lifetime. Well, that was going to be the case in the fucking uh, 20th century, right? Mid 20th century, the fucking Cold War, right? Who knows? Who knows? I don't. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, right? You know, generations after us, right? But again, right? A million years, who knows? But yeah, I'm going to end it there. And uh, the only reason I'm fucking talking about this because Monica fucking went off on a tangent. So <laughs> that's why I decided to bring it up. But who knows, right? At the end of the day, I don't care if we're in simulation. If we can, cool. Can we change it? Fucking, um, if not, then you're just wasting your time focusing on that than the actual fucking real life problems. So <laughs> that's the way I view it. But again, I'm going to end it here. Don't really have anything else to say. So, yep. That's it for this. And again, the next one we're going to collect consider the evidence, obviously. But yeah, so besides that, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.